were here, we were just, we kind of had an argument with Tyler because he was saying shit about our adoptive dad and stuff. Uh, so we kind of came here, we had a little chat, and now we're off to go and see Uncle Eddie. So I have to Ooh, warn you. There we go. I'm not Bit sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. Um, he'll say he's too busy? He's overprotective. He is kind of overprotective. Let's go for he that. He tries to protect me from everything. <laughs> Occupational hazard. He was always so worried about how I was left out at school. So he'd make me throw these huge birthday parties and invite everyone. And I don't know if that's, um... Because you were the chief daughter? Bingo. I'll explain after. But then they didn't actually talk to me. So I felt like... Hey! Look what I found! I was gonna say, where the fuck are you going, Tyler? Uh, I don't know if that's night too dark on stream. You'll have to let me know, because for some reason the stream darkens the game up so much compared to what I see, so you'll have to let me know if that's, like, super dark now, even though the gamma is on, like, zero. Aw, <laughs> oh, is that us? Oh, I thought there was a massive T there, Aha. but obviously not. I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. He claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still <laughs> is. All it needs is a little update. Oh, now he's gonna put the tea over it. Oh, there was like a little glitch. <laughs> I get your game. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. What does it look like? Did I miss it? Was I not looking at the point in which they showed it? I may not have been. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. So I had a little glitch because I already saw that tea there. But that's cute. Tyler and Allison. My little cute beans. I love them so much. They're honestly like some of my fave characters. Uh, we got an achievement. Correct the old graffiti on the tree. I might um, reconfigure some stuff next for next stream because I kind of like seeing achievements pop up on stream for other people. Or am I just so, weird? What's the plan? So I'll figure it so that they will show up. We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All yes. Right. Good plan, Allison. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Sure. Uh huh. That's oh, my shit. Yeah. Do, 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 I understand, do, do, do. Mr. Barrel. I'll be sure to let him know. <laughs> yes, I have it all. Ready <gasps> We're playing now. as Tyler, and I fuck yeah! Not I miss playing thing. as Tyler. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler. Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Hello. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. <laughs> Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. Ooh. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. Hey. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? Um. Happy to see Allison. It's been good to see Allison. <laughs> she's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say. Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Oh, thanks. Um, I loved working with those kids because he genuinely thanks. did, from what I it sounds like. spent a lot like. of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Uh, what's the JCE? JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Nice. Oh. oh. Uh, that's awesome. Wait, really? That's awesome. 
Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them, people who know where they're coming from, and they'll fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? <laughs> Allison, don't you be doing okay. funny shit without me. That's optimistic. It feels like hey. every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Ah, yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, I thought we'd have to rent a back room. Oh, I found it. Okay, so we know we looked at all those last time about the missing people. The high school's librarian. Uh, I think Please we looked over everything in here last time, actually. Day, so. <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, oh yeah. Happy as Hi. Right, there morning, go. Chief Brown. <laughs> Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? Uh, Eddie, this is in private. About her mother. I hate to tell you. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys. I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you well, everything. We don't know until we ask. I need to get back to, to this complaint. Sorry, guys. A lot, I think a lot of people know more than what they're letting on because... Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. Um, so what now? Tessa, we, um, we get the truth ourselves. Tessa knew more, but I kind of fucked that up. And, um, but she definitely knew more than what she was saying. I don't know, the archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Heck yeah. I suggested that when it was dark and no one was here. was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too. What happened? Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson. Different last name? No. Um, my Henderson. So she was with you yesterday? Wait, sorry, I want to listen to what they're saying. Um, my Henderson. You can use my office. She stays with me now. Oh, okay, that's what we're going to hear. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Nothing. Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way. Yeah, wasn't, it, couldn't Maybe we, like, we loop around? That map of the building near reception. Oh, oh yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Okay, so how else can we get upstairs? Alright. Let's see. Oh, there's stairs outside. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and we'd open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one who <laughs> Thanks. Made it. Wait. Love you too, really? Allison. Not a better idea? Um, not really. Not really. No. Right. Let's go. Uh, don't most, like, fire alarms, though, have, like, an alarm attached to them? So when they open, they're like, woo! We're open! Or is that just not a thing over in the States? So. What am I supposed to do? Ooh, there's something here. Fire drill, be advised, we'll be holding evacuation exercises through the week every morning at 8.30. Ooh. So, are they supposed to be having a fire drill today? Where's a clock? No. Can I just boop it anyway?
that pile of paperwork? Not about it. I could tip it over. It's kind of messy, but sure. Uh, never mind. Let's have a look. What else we can do? So we can tip that over. Um, I think that leads into the reception area. So what about? I don't think anything on there we can create a distraction with. Um, they're just going to be photos. How about saying someone's climbing the fence? Really? I can pretend they're outside trying to break in. Uh, no. All right. Never mind. Definitely not that one. So, maybe the stack of papers? I can't really think of anything else. I guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Uh, let's, let's knock the paperwork over, I think. That might work out better for us. Because we could just, like, lean against it and be like, oh, sorry. Uh, let's do it. Jesus, Tyler, what happened? <laughs> Sorry. That was I just like I just uh. wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. Well, that wasn't as messy as I thought it was gonna be, or as like loud or anything. Okay. Right. So, I'm in position. So what um, now? turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Oh, wait, this is the exit. Okay. So, yeah, Allison's just chilling. I'm just gonna yeah, go. Enough. Don't mind me. Um. Need a smoke? Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. It only gets harder the longer you do it. Maybe. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, tell your sister to stop seeing you. Cool. Okay. That seems like a legit excuse then. Turn right. I'm coming. May I not sprint? No, evidently not. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Oh, it's not like a fire fire door. I thought it was going to be like a proper, proper fire door. That's fine then. We're in. Now what? His office? Maybe? Because I'm How pretty sure we oh, saw... Wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the BCPD. If Eddie catches us in here... There's no turning back Guys, now. can you stop talking for a minute? I'm pretty sure we saw on a computer screen from like the end of one of the chapters that um, Eddie had taken out the file on their mom. Cool. What's this? Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of fire? Oh. Where'd you find it? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie told some strings to send you there, but <laughs> wow, a lot of money. Yeah, More he back paid doors a lot. And secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Yeah, so he like paid for Tyler to go there. What's this? Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Oh, that would be... Maybe that's the one that's downstairs happening? Okay, so what's this? You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Oh. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no but one... But it says she's been accepted. Why? Well, uh... 
This letter says you got in. Yeah. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. I was gonna say, but that says you've been accepted. So he is doing some kind of shady shit then. Well, I suppose it's not like real shady, you but you anything? know. No. Hey, a thing. Can I have it? Take. Huh. Hey, you. And what's this? Dragon? Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh, no. Floating amid oh, yes. the proceeds, I search for you. Burn it with my Elwood in the dragon's head. I roam alone while other stars burn into my zone. Oh, is this a little poem that Alison wrote? Cute. Uh, let's go collectibles because we got. I'm so pissed that we missed one in chapter one. We got the moose. The stalwart moose. He's a kind and loyal animal. He always criticizes the goblins for their tricks, but he actually likes them. <laughs> okay, so not there. Uh, what's this? Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Uh, resume Donald M. Hurt, U.S. military. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so that's honorable discharge for that dude. Hmm. Is that the same dude? What's this guy's name? Wait. I think it's the same dude. Um, okay. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. Allison, get out of my way. Here makes me feel even worse. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, Eddie, your final closure invitation to the annual social is usually we've included a plus one on the chance that one day you'll use it. He's in charge of defeating Charlie. To the annual dinner dance honoring elders and our communities. Huh. Let's put the Vecchies next to. Can you not? <laughs> yeah, let's fuck it up. Okay, that's not interesting then. So, it's maybe not in his office then? Oh, I can just read that. So, what about this way? I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but maybe there's something in Eddie's office. Oh, okay. So, is there like uh, something I missed? Maybe an email or something? Let me go back here. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Oh, here Seriously? we go. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information, and computers are basically information pinatas. Oh, sorry, I was like, why am I scrolling forever? I'm not. Um. Re nacho mama. People, we are adults here. Whoever keeps leaving dirty dishes in the sink better learn to clean after themselves. Or I will personally stuff said culprit into the washer so they can see how it works. So, who is this to? Just to everybody. Man, who pissed in her cereal this morning? You hit reply all, Sherlock. Okay. Event reminder. Presence of Cred on Wednesday. I need us all to speak now if we can't attend. Reschedule. So this morning we'll be talking about impact bias. No punishment has nothing to do with the dismissal of Randy Spears. We can benefit from this discussion no matter who we are. Dinner? Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Dinner Thursday. Oh, yeah. uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Whoa. Brown looked at go. our file this morning. Wait, what? It hasn't been digitalized yet, so you can find I the paper in know. the archives. But there's a reference number. But the reference is about the case. I feel like that reference number is going to be important. So we need to go to the archive files then. There we go. 
Have that, just One in case. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. That's where I was heading, Allison, but no. Had to come here first. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I've spent hours playing next to this room. I've seen people go inside all the time. That's not very helpful though. Does this little tune. Dum da dee do. Dum da dee do. Seriously. Go on, try. Um. Uh. You're pressing the wrong number. I, I, I know that. That's dap. Dow. Dap. Dam. You're pressing the wrong numbers. How did that tune go again? Dum da -de -do. Oh, is it on these ones, I maybe? I was that. just... Dum -da -de -do. Oh, shut up. I was going on the like the clean ones. You had perfect pitch. Shut up. So dumb. Oh, that's do. Yes, I know that's do. I want this one. So dumb da di do. You're pressing the wrong numbers. I know, Alison. So dumb. Da was this D? Oh no, that's do. The first two seem to be right. So dumb. Oh, for God's sake. I can't tell, like, First where my mouse right. is. Right, dumb. Da. D. Do. Yes. There we go. Wow. <laughs> We're in. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. We're gonna have to resort everything. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Great. Wait, is that ours? They digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. <laughs> I'm gonna go keep a lookout. Thanks. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. Ours? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Just nope. So what are we looking for? Um. R six eight six five three. R six one. I need R six eight. Is that it? That looks like six six, but it could be six eight. So it starts with O five as well. Oh, O five R six eight. There. Tyler, get unstuck from the table. There we go. Let's see what's inside. Oh, I'm excited to find out more. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation. Notified by my partner, officer, Christian Holt of accident at 12 Canary Road, Delos. White female identified as Mary Ann Ronan, falling over lake into lake, audio recorded tape, blah, 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 blah. Holt and I arrive at the scene. Local witness, miner's name reacted, Ronan. 
and Ronan children couldn't get a statement from them as they were under dire stress and shock. Children were taken into care of patrol officer J. Chan Brown. Investigator T. Dickens arrived at the scene, role prints of victim, crime lab tech tally at scene, completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed shotgun, bullets recovered from location. Well, so far I'm not seeing anything we didn't know about. possession of the body. some other files and audio recordings of We might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the Okay, I did not remember what those file numbers were. Oh shit. I didn't want to press turn again. I want to press turn. Q and what were those audio numbers? What do you reckon? Take that and that. Okay. Just in case. Because uh, I cannot be asked to come back here if if that's the case. So we've looked at that. Anything else? No? Okay, we're going straight to the computer then. Yes. Alright, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan? March yeah. 1st, 2005? I was going to say our last, uh, that. Oh, here we go. I didn't need to take a picture of them. Oh. References. Sorry, I did not mean to leave. Juice files. Juice so files find. Uh, oh, storage. R. Oh, so. R61. 05. R61. So zero five R sixty one. Where was that? There. There. Report homicide. Victim name Mary Ann Ronan. Caucasian female. Hey, she was born a day after me. Unemployed. On dock, a lakeside victim threatened her child with a gun. Child stabbed her with a pair of scissors. Victim subsequently fell into the lake. Reporting employees, minors, Ronan White. Ronan. Article shotgun serial number registered with Sam. See, that's why he was looking at the thing, because he gave uh, her the shotgun. Okay. Ooh, that's not the button I wanted. Turn. I found a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Well, when you're a white female, extra time managed to get to start loading the shotgun. Shortly after, her child, Ronan Eleven, entered the garage to display a new haircut given by sister. Uh, according to witnesses, Ronan's statement, when she saw the child haircut, Marion became enraged and threatened Ronan with a shotgun. Uh, Tyler fled the garage towards the lake, calling for help. Marianne followed, still armed, out into the dock on the southern side of the property. Hearing the noise, witness Allison also came out of the house towards the dock where she observed uh, Tyler, under threat from Marianne, defend themselves by stabbing Mother with a pair of scissors. At that time, both witnesses state Mary Ann Ronan lost consciousness and fell into the lake. Uh, they said so they detailed it. It was dispatched to the scene upon arrival. They set up a containment of the scene, began a crime scene log, and started heading to both juveniles. See the statements for the description. On March 1st, 2005, Christian Holt notified his partner, Officer Eddie Brown, by telephone of the incident before being dispatched to the scene. Holt and Brown arrived at the scene at 22.58 hours. They noted the scene was located entirely outdoors. Canary Road is a secluded road, mostly compromised of a few residential cottages. Oh. I feel like I have to fast read just in case it's like he's going to appear any minute. Detectives observed a loaded shotgun on the dock. No rounds had been discharged. They directed forensic personnel to recover items. Detectives were directed to witnesses Tyler and Allison. Witnesses... Uh, 
Allison stated that she heard screaming while she was upstairs in her bedroom. She ran down the stairs and looked over the kitchen window, saw her sibling with her, their mother, Mary Ann, on the docks. Mary Ann was threatening her child with a gun. Allison tried, uh, Tyler tried to run away, but Mary Ann threatened that she was going to shoot. According to both witnesses, she stated, I'm going to kill you. Um, Tyler Roden then stabbed Mary Ann with a pair of scissors trying to escape. See, that's the only thing with my theory is they both say that she said, I'm going to kill you. Uh, so I don't, I don't know about that bit, but Marianne fell into the water unconscious. Okay. Nice. So there was one more over here. I think it was the 288 or something. Oh, wait, we've got more now. So we have this. Uh, R62. I keep pressing escape to that. Check out 05 R62 766. 05 R62. There. It's on the table. What is it? Seen the in Stab wound is not fatal. What? Since fresh water intoxication. On the side, how did you grab a scissor? Victim fell over dock into freezing water lake. It was operation before for any condition state? No. Stab wound, non fatal death by drowning. Damn. That would be so, like, it would be a relief to be like, okay, I didn't kill my shit, mom, but. Shit, shit, shit. Eddie's coming up the stairs. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, send him away. Stall him. No shit, Sherlock. Get him into his office. Tell him we need to talk in his office. Here. Uh, 0501. References 0501 COM EBR. Zero five zero one zero five zero one. Chant it with me, people. Zero five zero one. Zero five zero one. There. Okay, here it is. Jesus. Unbelievable. Services. What? Oh. Where are you? What's going on? Okay, and got something. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Pru from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Pru. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Oh, shit. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S K Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Is that Mrs. the news Pro? that she was told? How worried should we be? I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Pru. You too, sir. I just need to listen to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Dallas Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, Hello, I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She. Dallas Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, Hello, I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She. 
She fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Well, Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up. Oh. Um, uh, Eddie Brown, Sam. Here we go. R six eight. R six eight. R six eight. Got it. I need to check out zero five R sixty eight M I S C. Sixty-eight there. No. So is it like one of these then? That we can just see like the misco? This one? Is that here? So, patient last name Ronan. Concussion. Pressure in head, headache, loss of consciousness, nausea, dazed. I, Tessavici, hereby release a medical clinic from liability following the patient as per terms of the release agreement. I read and understand the hospital release form. Huh. So, Tessa took somebody out of the hospital when they had a concussion. Just like check all the the O5 boxes. Would that not make sense? Tessa's name came up. Search for her. Here. They come. Storage 2005-201. References 2005-201-546. This one? This one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Well, two thousand five two zero one five four six. There. That one. Okay. Oh, I feel so tense, man. Wait, what the hell? That's an accused for child neglect. Oh shit. Okay. I am Ronan. Entered and by that, Miss Fishy states that she observed Ronan prior to the hours of approximately 10 minutes while chatting distractedly with her. Miss Nasichi stated that she was behind the cast register and did not have a direct eye contact on Ronan at all times. Fishy stated that after those 10 minutes, Ronan asked Miss if she had any organic mosquito incense in stock. Stitch informed Ronan that she did not, but stated she believed this demand was odd due to the winter season. Ronan then left without purchasing anything. Stated that after approximately five minutes, she walked back through the aisle where Ronan had been and discovered a missing box of detergent. As each states that she had very recently restocked the shelves and no one else had been in the store that morning. She also stated that she suspected Ronan of shoplifting before in the past. Notably, while well, in the company and possibly with the aid of Ronan's two children, Siege stated that she also had reason to suspect Ronan to be guilty of child neglect. They don't eat and are exposed to all kinds of inappropriate influences. Siege believed it possible for some form of abuse to may be occurring in the home. Hmm. Oh, need to get moving. Okay, so is that everything? Shit. I'm sorry, Taylor. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Hide. Get out. Oh. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to... I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it. H hey. Get off me. Rather spend the night here? Come on. I said don't fucking touch me. Go on. And consider yourselves lucky your family. Um, try and calm him down? You're right. Family. 
And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? Okay, we did we good. We saw our file. <gasps> we know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Oh, is he gonna okay. tell us? Did we do good? Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. Okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna fuck it up and we were not gonna get any info out of him then. Oh. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. Mm -hmm. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So Tessa came to you? You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you called child services? So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day? The day she died? To warn her about social services? <sighs> she loved you two so damn much. She deserved a chance. I think that's I, what led her to... I didn't see it coming. ...to kill herself. Well, to attempt to kill herself, should I say. I don't know. Right there, she must have decided it was over. I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults, and that was your choice. I was to gonna make. say, but they are without if you don't tell them the truth, though. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Like, there comes a, a, a fine line between wanting to protect them and it just then hurting them. Uh, just like that, huh? I'm not gonna... We're not gonna get just angry. Like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. Don't make me pick game. Um, we could get there with time, maybe. I don't want to completely, to like, you know. Yeah. Like, it's going to take some time before we're a big, happy family. I was going to say, hug it around the campfire. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, he put the ring on. Oh, that's nice. He's gonna appreciate that. A group hug? 
<laughs> uh, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, I'm really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah. Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. Hmm. Okay, I feel good about that choice. <laughs> oh. Hi, don't mind me. This is awkward. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, Allison, why do you seem so pissed? What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she... Memories. Oh Children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kid. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I swear, man, this series is going to make me cry at some point. I was very close at the end of the last chapter. Oh, poor Tessa, man. Discovered in tell about Marianne's past and her death. Sad times, bruh. I'm still confused about certain little things. Like, certain things aren't adding up. Uh, my theory about her... The thing that she got told that day, saying her off, looks correct. But where is everybody? There's still a couple things I'm like. This has got to be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You okay. look for Tessa, okay? Cool, I can do that. On it. Okay, first place I'm gonna check is the office. Oh, it's Tom. Hi, Tom. Do you know where Tessa is? Hello. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation and try to get their support? Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hi. Hello, Tyler. <laughs> uh, can I help you? Allison, can you fucking not, please? Every time. Hey. I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station, and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <coughs> okay. Um. Why was she at the station? Tessa reported. Why? Tessa, why? Why? Why did Tessa Tell come me to why? the police station that night? She was looking for you two to make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? She yeah. didn't remember who called, but you know how it is. Yeah, a small no time. news travels faster than a secret. Mm. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. 
Tessa reported Marianne. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Uh, okay, I suppose that's all valid. Okay. Thanks, Thank I you. guess. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. It's just a smidge. Mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Um, we need truth to hear. Well, I guess, but not necessarily true. We understand that. Um... Let's go with we understand. Let's not be too like I guess that makes sense. Pushy. But we need to know what really happened. Yeah. You deserve that. And I'm sorry if some folks have been less than helpful, but you've got to give people time. <laughs> it's Especially been Tessa. how many fucking now, years though? You let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey, Michael, hey. my boy. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting. So don't be late. Uh, Yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Yeah, see, that's no, what I want to know. Exactly what happened to their dad in all of this as well? Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I. Oh. Really? Gosh. He's got uh, his vote for mayor I'm thing sorry. on the back of his phone I and has really his vote wallpaper. <laughs> That's kind of sad, dude. Michael, my boy. Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, yeah, sure thing, boss man. See you later. What was that sure thing, boss man? You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why yeah, not? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Uh, oh. maybe we shouldn't go and talk to her now, then. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Oh, because their mother will be there. We don't have to visit her grave. I'm going to start working in the storage room. <laughs> Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? Uh, curious what he knows. I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Not Besides, that you know Marianne of anyway. always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. <laughs> uh, Anything hey, else? So, you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. You won't be alone, though. You'll have me and I Michael. Know, but I'll be there, too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Yeah, but... Hey, he offered. Yeah, he and you and Michael together you. are cute. <laughs> So. me, huh? Well, we need to get this door closed, so go give him a hand. Okay, fine. If you're gonna be like that... Who knows, maybe Michael knows something that he, like, doesn't realize is important, and he's just like, uh, by the right. way. I already counted there, but I just need you to double-check a few things. Got it. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh, yeah? These are just that good, huh? I'm just clowning. I'm clowning. I don't even know where to begin. What do I do? Yeah, let's start with an easy one. All right. Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Uh, 
tomato sauce. Is this it? Okay, I guess that's not it over here. There was some canned stuff over here. There we go. Hold on. Let me count this. Two, three, four, five, six. Fourteen. There's fourteen cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay. Sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. Uh, on it. On it. So, is the bleach where I just was? Is this the bleach? Or is that the bleach? This one? This one. Uh, six? Six? Alright. Not bad, Tyler. Yeah! Not bad. <laughs> Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. Okay. Oh, I like that poster, man. Oh, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. <laughs> oh, any good stories? I mean, probably. Ooh, I think. But nothing I remember really makes sense, so... Is that the mangy muskrat? Take. Uh, what about the mangy muskrat? Oh, have he, has he not added it yet? Sorry, I was a bit too keen. Uh, muskrat. The mangy muskrat is a lazy, cowardly creature who spends most of his time lying around in the sun, cleaning his coat. Ah, fair enough. Who dat? Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages. But he is very, very hot. He is, to Shit. be fair. Yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah. He's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah. Yep. I see it. Right. Talk. What are we doing next, Michael? We bonded. I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Um, that's beautiful. Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Well, maybe a little bit, but <laughs> I like it, for real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. A multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? <laughs> what? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. Is it because Allison's here and you've got to right. crush on Anything her? Anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. Okay, that's very helpful. Uh, what box over where? This box? Yeah. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. You have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Uh, just you wait. 
Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, My yeah? strategy we'll is see. to stay here till you emerge. Gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. For <laughs> God, you're corny. You're corny. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. <gasps> I shipped oh. them to actually. So good looking yes. company, huh? Yeah, Tyler well, don't and let Michael. Me get to your head. I'm ship. still destroying you. Forever. Can I not like boop you? Oh. Oh damn it. <gasps> I shipped them so much. Are they gonna is there gonna be a cute oh. moment? <laughs> Man, please. <you're> good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. <laughs> what? That's the name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah. Alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Yes, we won the plushie battle. Heck yeah. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Ooh. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Can we take it? Fix that. Uh, Michael is so flirting with Tyler. I freaking love it. Yes. I'm here for two little gabies. Can we sit? Hi. Don't mind me just going to stare at your beautiful I'm face. I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle <laughs> in front of the customers. Really? She didn't say anything. Man. Must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town would be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Uh, do you ever get lonely here? Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. That's why I'm always in Juno working with the JCE. Meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me. Because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Uh, have you ever been with anyone here? Hey, mm -hmm. I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Dallas Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. Mm. And what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. I never met the right person. I've never really been with anybody. I guess I was too busy processing trauma or whatever. But if I met a guy I was into, who knows? Anyway. No way. You like Duplex Duo too? Yeah. <laughs> Allison got me into him. We were supposed to go to his show in Juno a few months ago. <gasps> what happened? And what happened? Uh, you ever heard of Moon Rocks? We took two hits before going to the show, and that was it. Our feet couldn't find the floor, not our finest hour. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronan. It's weird you that you're just fucking that staring at me like that, dude. I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Your fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. 
And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. Aw, cute. You're pretty all right. You're not bad yourself. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. Who is us, not Tyler, to, flirting back? Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. Oh. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours, too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. You have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. Oh, yeah. That's you true, man. have a dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Do you want to make Shoot. out? Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Oh, I can't. You're swell too. Well, golly gee, Michael, I think you're oh, swell no. too. Oh no! Did I you fuck up? Cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. Did I not fuck up? I don't I know what I did. With my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better. For sure. If that's okay. something you'd be interested in. I don't think I fucked up. Yes. I I'd be interested. Yeah. Put me down. <coughs> Fucking oh, first hey. in line. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, cute! I love it! My heart can't contain. Oh, look at them too! Here we are. Oh, come on. There we go. Thanks for letting me get over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. But anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. Oh, I really hope I didn't spooked. fuck up that thing I've with Michael. A big fan of I'm gonna be so upset if I did. Especially after. I promise after this we can chill at the house. Cool. Uh, this way maybe. I don't know. He said not far from the entrance. Well, that's not very. Just the graves are back that way. Oh, sorry. I was gonna say that's not very descriptive, Michael. So you just said do you that ever way. Come back? Just keep it down. Better. Not much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Big crooked tree? It's probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Funky C. Funky D. <sighs> yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. And I never had a reason to. Thankfully. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It was just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? Oh. <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. But sometimes it was like loving us. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. 
due to the national outlawing of native religions and ways of life, much of our knowledge of the old ways of the ling I forget how they pronounce this. The the linguit spiritual practice has been lost. I'm really sorry, that's not how that was pronounced. I forget how they pronounced it. But it were two everlasting examples of love and reverence. We continue to show our departed in the tradition of our ancestors. As love transcends all boundaries, the passing of a clan member is an event felt throughout the community. The people come together to mourn a loved one and lift their opposite clan member's spirits. When an eagle is being mounted, the ravens shower love and strength upon mourning eagle clans. Likewise, when a raven is being mourned, the eagles are there for their ravens. After the service, it's customary for members of the opposite moiety to comfort the grieving family by bringing out their atawu clan owned regalia symbolically to symbolically catch tears before they hit the ground to and comfort grieving clan members with support oh that's so nice 40 day party is observed 40 days after the passing to pay respects to the departed some believe this is a more recent tradition family members organize a shared meal where a fire dish one plate of food is burned to nourish and comfort the spirit of the departed one year or more from the passing, a clu cluex pol pult latch is held to first mourn, then celebrate the life of the departed. It is hosted by the clan of the deceased. This is to honour the departed clan member through a traditional ceremony, show appreciation and pay debts to the opposite moiety who support the clan during the time of mourning. That sounds really nice. I'm really sorry I butchered all of those uh, pronunciations, but... I love shit like that, where it's like, yeah, we may be opposite clans, but we're here for you. Okay, big crooked tree. No Tessa. Oh, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Let's oh, there she is. Make sure this is the right school. Wait, is this the one we called the big crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarled Branch? Total misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? CeeLo Green. Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. True. Do not step on the graves. Okay. Well, I can read these. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. It's but Michael should know. May the memory of our daily departed never be lost in the chaos of history. May this be the resting place for our loved ones who have journeyed to the other side, other shore. May our eternal love soothe the wound of the days past towards a brighter horizon. Cool. Uh, what does this say? Hazel Salazar? Who's that? No dice. Anything? Oh, here's Michael. Hey. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Can we talk to him? No, we can just see. Do just creepily stand over him. Come on over. Make yourself oh, here comfortable. We go. Uh, sit. Joy. We'll just teleport over. That's fine. Don't worry about it. So, is this a bad time? With you? Never. Oh, Don't mind me. So I'm cute. not really here. <laughs> hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? Um. About this place. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Eh, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinket Memorial? Clinket, that's the how they pronounce it. Of our dearly departed, never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy, you just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God, assholes. Yeah, and I mean, I was it, gonna still say, happens, it still happens. It still happens. We have the elders to thank for that. Um. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. What was your uncle like? So what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. 
Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. Yeah, we're getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy Aww. who accepts you for where you are at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. Uh, so you were close with your uncle? You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Yes, nice. I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. <laughs> I volunteer for taste testing. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. No, I'm promising that. that Fortune favors nice. the bold goes double for food. Uh, what did you say the grave was? And then we'll uh, talk to him so later. So, we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave? You serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. Okay. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. <laughs> That's the guy wearing glasses. Yeah, but these are magnifying glasses. <laughs> and they do infrared, so I see everything. Bet you do. Uh, talk to you later. Thanks, talk Michael. You later. You Love bet. you. Well, we'll go and have a little smoochy smooch later. So, how are you, um, holding up? Everything's such a mess. So, when you get to the big tree and go right, so through here. So ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got in the town. Oh, I just thought I'd get the Allison, you coming? I'll be right there. So yeah, and then right. I so sure he doesn't get lost. I'm guessing through there. Yeah. Can I look? I e stepping on graves. Don't like it. Ben, short and simple. I like it. Come on, there's only a handful left. Uh, I would, but you're in my way, Allison. Thank you. So I think through here then. Maybe. Can I not go through here? Oh, open. There we go. No? Wait up. Michael said it would be close to the crooked tree. Anything? Nah, just a whole lot of nothing. Lewis. Wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Yep. Eddie still watches reruns of the show he was on. <laughs> Every once in a while, his face pops up. It's super weird. Oh, unless it's from here we go right? This looks like it could be it. De Leon. That's the one. There we go. <gasps> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. <laughs> Good. This time. So now what? We just head home? Ooh, memory. Oh, sorry. Went too far. Back it up, Tyler. Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. Dave, you know, I barely remember. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So, I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Exactly. Let's go. Do you remember where?
where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Here we go. Memory. Uh, Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. Yeah. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, <laughs> you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. Oh. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did, watch. You killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible, but I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come see... I'll be back soon, all right? I promise. I'll be back soon. I don't think right? he promised to be week. back soon. And we'll talk with our voice every day. We'll see each other soon then. Stop crying, Billy. We have to go, kid. God. I could have sworn it went the other way. I'm so sorry. I, I should have staged a hunger strike until Eddie agreed to drive me. Hey, water under the bridge. Hey, there's Tessa. She's visiting our mom, by the looks. And I took Jane ice skating on Wednesday. Oh no, Kendra. I wish you could have seen her. She took off across that ice like she was born to do it. She was a child, that's for sure. Got an offer for a real job, me. Teaching music and history at the high school. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store, Allison, right? Yes. And your, um, it starts with a K, right? Kendra, don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be? Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. Uh, where's your accent from? I like it. Uh, I hope this isn't rude, but where's that accent from? Georgia, born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then, well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah. Something's got to change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Uh, want to go back to Georgia? Do you want to go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet, like a frozen desert. Thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. Aww. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... Uh, that's gotta be hard. Yeah. Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Well, thanks. You thinking of staying then? Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mama's been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right. But if I'm honest, 
The solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to. Just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but you have any thoughts? Um. Do what you want to do. Uh. Oh, I didn't want to click that. Sorry, I wanted. But I, I wanted to click. So you should stay. Of making that call. Yeah. Sorry. It was a strange question. I wanted to click. <laughs> it sounds like you've um, only you got stay. good options. I don't think you need to worry about making a wrong choice. Hmm. I really appreciate that. Well, uh, we should get moving. I hope everything works out for you and your daughter. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. Thanks, you too. Uh, Jennifer De La Rosa. Damn. She got kind of stranded out here. I know. And her daughter's barely two years old. Those kind of accidents happen all the time. The penalties cost less than safety upgrades, so... so they Great. Shit. Ty. Yeah? This... this is it. Great. Yeah. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. Okay. Um... Oh my god, I got it first try. <laughs> oh. So they're about my age then, I would guess, if their mum was born in 64, because my mum was born 63 random bit of information so i guess they're probably like my her. age judging what on the, the age they were on? in 2005. what broke <laughs> why didn't you say anything <laughs> we were your goblins <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone <laughs> no Kids, I, uh, I, I wasn't expecting to see, what are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? I don't like Tessa, but come on, that was a bit harsh. Like, I don't like her for what she believes in, but she did love you two and your mom, by the looks of it. When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day we were going to end up dead. No, I won't do this again. Oh. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine. She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. 
She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Ooh, oh, is, God. is Sam what like Dario? Between them? <gasps> I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. Oh. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. Sam might be our daddy-o. Uh, you did what you had to. Like, at the end, she was just looking out for... You were worried. ...for their welfare. And you did what you thought you had to. Get I don't... I don't believe that she is, like, a horrible woman. The situation was so fucked that... Well, there probably wasn't a good answer. Thank you. I... I... No, I could have done more. Marianne was fragile. She needed help, and I... I failed her. It's my fault. She's gone. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. Yeah, like. But if there's a place at the for end of the day, lives, she was also Marianne's friend, so she's I'd also like going to be, be grieving from all this as well. I have well. to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray so, for yes. guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I think, yeah, I think this is the best way to move on from it all. I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. Aww. I'll see you two tomorrow then. I'm glad we'll we there. chose that. Come on. Because like I said, I don't think she meant any any harm by what she was doing. Like, I don't believe in her stance on, like, transgender and gay people, but I genuinely that believe that Tessa huh? is, like, not a yeah, bad person. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. Uh, she needed to hear it. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Can you stop yeah, walking in my way, Allison? Right. Fucking hell. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? <laughs> mm. Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. Where are you going? Uh, I was gonna go to the car. What are you doing? Rude, I was just heading back to the car. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes Can I a not? little bit of the sting off. Um, thanks for coming with me. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey. Brothers and sisters, right. But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. 
You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. Yeah, and who knows what Tyler would be like if he I hadn't gone to life, fireweed. Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Stop putting yourself down? Nothing. Maybe? You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. Oh. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. Yeah, like, like I said, I reckon so they're probably at my age. The they're probably in their like 23, 24. So... Marianne was done with Delos. Delos you know, they got plenty of time. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? See again, I don't feel that's right. I think kill herself. It feels like there's something missing, right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always gonna feel that way. Yeah, it might. <laughs> Damn, I feel like it got real heavy there at the end for a second. Are you going to finish loading, Gabe? Thanks. I was like, don't die on me. <sighs> I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Uh, Shit. Allison. What? I'll get the fire extinguisher. I did not see that, sorry, the lag then. Who the fuck was that? Tyler! Tyler, are you alright? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. So what were they burning? There, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God, why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Hey, come check this out. There's Is something that under there. Box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? 
I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. Bird chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on the top. Uh, hang on, let me look this at like the rest of the already here this really morning. turned this place upside he down. Didn't bring it with him. He went looking under the rug? Did he really have to smash everything? So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. I taught myself. Eek, there's a story there. Um, oh, there's a thing here. Can I have that, please? Thank you. That's what I wanted. Take. Oh. At least he were spared. Where do we get the moon hag? Oh, we missed another one, damn it. Whoa, she's cool. The moon hag is an old and powerful witch. She lures her innocent victims deep beneath the ice and traps them there forever. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Ooh, here we go. Crowbar. Let's rip up some floors. Guess we know how he made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. It's a box, but what's in it? Got a key. I only know one no. person who bothered to decorate a storage box like this. There's a padlock on it with a code. Let's open it. Three oh. digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. Oh wait, what's the symbol on the top? What's that there? Some kind of carving. It's like I'm an not sure eye what it is, though. with a key. Um, here. Wait. Look. It's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. So once upon a time in the deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblin spied on the secret keeper as she made her rhymes, gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest had for sale. Ha, okay, I sorry. I read that and I was like, uh, what? How, said the first goblin, does she get people's secrets? Do you suppose she peeps? She peels open their heads. Let's find out, said the second. And so the goblins watched the secret keeper. They watched her until the sto stalwart moose came to her, head hanging low. It was my fault. I chose the uneven trial. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into stalwart moose's eyes. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose. For the secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice. After a few minutes, the stalwart moose blinked. I feel lighter, said the moose. Did I just give you something? The secret keeper nodded, handing him a coin. The stalwart moose nodded and plodded along down the trail. He spied the goblins hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently, and the moose was forced to carry on because they were not doing anything obviously bad. I need to know what the secret was, said one of the goblins. Let's go buy it. So, the goblins approached the secret keeper before she could stow away Moose's secret. We want to buy Moose's secret. What do you have to trade? asked the secret keeper, her voice filling their minds. The goblins produced a silver-handled hairbrush they had stolen from the princess, and the secret keeper nodded. And that is how the goblins came to know that the Moose's mate had tumbled down a cliffside to her death. Ooh, that's rough, man. The secret keeper moved on. The first of the goblins said, I want to know more. So the goblins followed the secret keeper, hoping to find where she hid the secrets. They followed her to the peak of a nearby ridge and watched as she stowed the rest of the day's secrets high in a cloud. When she had gone, they climbed a high spruce tree that disappeared into the misty sky. They reached out and just managed to dip their hands into the clouds. Their heads were filled with memories and they snatched their hands back out as if they had just been thrust into... In Wow! As if they had just thrust them into boiling water. 
tears pulled down their cheeks. That was how the secret keeper found them, crying in the tree. You stole my secrets, said the secret keeper. Give them back. The crafty goblin stopped crying because they saw an opportunity. What will you give us in exchange, they asked. I will give you back the silver handle hairbrush, offered the secret keeper. For so many secrets? Pah! You'll have to offer more than that. What if, said the secret keeper, I shared the gift of the voice? The crafty goblins grew excited. That will do. So the secret keeper shared the gift of the voice with the goblins, and immediately they found that they could hear one another's thoughts and feel each other's feelings. Crafty goblins gave back the secrets they had taken and ran back to the big wood house. That's where they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into her mind, but they found it was blank. They tried to speak to her using only their own minds, but she could not hear them. It seemed the secret keeper was craftier than the crafty goblins, for she had only shared enough of her power to let the goblins use the gift of voice with each other and not with the rest, with the whole of the forest. That is how the goblins stole the gift of the voice from the secret keeper, but why they could only use it with each other. Okay, so that was not very helpful. Um, is there something on the page? No. Okay. So that doesn't really help us, to be honest. Oh, wait, there's a three there. Three, zero. Is there any other, like, number around? Three, zero. zero something oh I think we just need to break the lock there must be something in here we can use hold up don't break the lock yet ah one three zero just to get it open got it and preferably without destroying the box one three zero that did it got it yes Ha. Break it open, my ass, Allison. So, what's in it? Ooh. I think she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chased after all the new girls in Dedo's Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. Where when we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. Heart. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Oh. Fuck. That's rough. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. Okay, so this is... Is this the same writing? This, no, this is different this writing. tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. I'm sorry you're in this situation. Even I know you us. feel you'd make a great mother, but I doubt you will someday. But right now, we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. But mostly, I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. So was that Sam then? Is Sam their daddy -o? Oh my god. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He came after these letters. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Mary Ann, and he just tried to torch the evidence. Mm -hmm. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. Ooh, here. Allison! Allison! Of all the things. I don't know about you. 
you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have no, said the same thing, but he saw the Mad Hunter. Different. Which I, I think is their dad. But you know what happens down there. That's Can the I? thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Sure. Can I just look at this first? Kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots. This is where I trip. And where you turned and saw the Mad Hunter, Mad Hunter over there. Wait, there was someone here that night? Mm -hmm. In the woods? No, it was just, I, s I saw, who the hell did I actually see? Sam. Damn. Sam Jodadio, guarantee it. Place in my no bets now. stops, no turns, he was on a mission. That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating <laughs> outfits. And wait! He was here once before, wasn't he? Was he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on. Do you feel that? Hang on. What's Trail that? ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Oh, I, I was trying to get that memory, but okay. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, yes. someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, yeah, so we need answers. And that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time. Just one last one more time. time. Please. There's always just one Have more. Have a drink with Every me. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and... You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Oh, that's harsh. <gasps> what? How? How? How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God. I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Oh, thank God for that. I thought she was going to say no, and I was like, oh, I need to know, bitch. With or without you. Oh, sorry. There we go. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. I told you, I told you that would happen! We almost had it, though. That was us, watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, alright? Don't think about anything else. Come on. 
You can do it. I don't own anything. It's been a little all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close. Come on, Allison. Come on, remember. I'm sorry. Oh, You're Allison, come on. That's it. You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley. Or it's only gonna get worse. Uh, I, think, I think I'd wanna know. I'd be like Tyler. I'd wanna know why... Everything led up to that moment. Because, like, I think not knowing would kill me more than, like, the knowing would, if that makes sense. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, do you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my Who is property that? That now! Like, that doesn't look like Sam. If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! That's what they remembered. Allison? Oh, so memories got muddled. No, no, no. no. So she, I, that, that was the bit that didn't make sense to me, but maybe my theory is right then. She didn't say that to Tyler. <gasps> oh, we did it, dudes. We finished chapter two, and I still have more questions than fucking answers. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So Tyler for Allison discarded his feelings when choosing her memory at the house. Um, oh, so I was in the minority then. I chose Allison's memory. I can't remember that. Uh, what memory we chose. Was it to do with the Mad Hunter, I think? Tyler felt hurt about needing time when Alison refused the house showing. What? Tyler felt hurt? Oh, okay. Uh, wow, 38 accepted the appointment? Alison felt hope about becoming a family when Tyler forgave Eddie. Ah, oh, most of us forgave Eddie. Eddie was touched by Tyler's. Oh, only 21 didn't forgive him. See, it kind of looks like Eddie, like, from here, in the, the, like, Mad Hunter fishing gear, that, like, that looked like Eddie, and I'm like, is that why he feels so guilty, and, like, he needs to, like, protect them? Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> Who are the 19 that turned down this hunk of meat right here? Shame on you. Um, okay, most of us forgave Tessa as well. That's good. I like that. 
Because like I said, I don't believe in what Tessa believes, but I don't think that she meant... Like, I don't think she's a bad There's person. There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? Heck yeah! I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go. So there's another little box of secrets then in chapter three. I'm pretty sure there's only three chapters to this game. I don't think there's more. Uh, ooh, consequences. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, collectibles. Yeah. So I missed. I'm missing one in each of them by the looks. Replay. Yeah, so chapter, I think there are just three chapters. Uh, yes, let's exit the game. Let's wrap things up for now. And uh, Streamlabs, come on. Work, my dude. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Streamlabs was like, nah, mate, you're having none of this. What is sticking up at the back of my head? Oh, my hair. Um, so that was chapter two. Well, the end of chapter two of Tell Me Why. I'm still so confused. Uh, like I said, I thought the whole I'm going to kill you thing didn't make sense to me with my theory. But by the looks of it, Alison is misremembering when her mother said that. So... Maybe she didn't say that to Tyler at all, and it just got confused in her memories because she said it to their dad. Now, I thought their dad was Sam because they Tessa said something about Sam and about why he left somebody. Um, but the person that was on the boat in the fishing gear didn't look like Sam. That looked like Eddie from, like, here down. And that would kind of make sense because Eddie did do a lot of fishing with them and stuff. So he would have all the fishing gear and everything. So maybe Eddie's their dad. And it would explain why he wanted to be so involved with, like, Alison and, like, take her in and that after. You know, because he is her dad. Because I get being, like, a concerned, like, friend or whatever. But it's weird that, like, just a police officer that was just friends with Marianne would take in her kids to me but so that would make a lot of sense if eddie was their dad which if he is oh my god i'm so excited to find out um so that's it for tell me why and um that will be the last of my streams for a while i'm so sad to be not streaming for a little while but also it's gonna be really nice um because i'll be taking a Maybe I'd like a two week break from streaming just so I can spend Christmas and New Year with my family. I'm also working pretty much. Well, I'm working every day, including Christmas, Boxing Day and all that. I'm just working all over Christmas. So and they're all like late shifts. So I won't really have time to stream either. But I'll be taking a break for the holidays and that. Um, but I'll let you guys know when I'm coming back. Uh, like I said, it might be two weeks. It'll probably be sometime in the new year. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be finishing Tell Me Why again on Sundays for Chill Stream. We'll be continuing Alien Isolation. There's some indie horror games that I want to finish up as well. And then I've got one, two, three. Yeah, three like story ish based horror games. Um, and then. Again, I want to bring Stardew back to Sunday streams and stuff. So hopefully the New Year's are going to be good anyway. Um, so thanks for coming to hang out with Chill Stream today. I hope you have a happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, I hope you just have a good time with your family and things like that. So yeah, have a lovely time and I will see you next time. <laughs>